I forgot myself for a moment. She's sort of unusual, but at the same time, I think she's very relatable. Sorry. So sorry, I didn't mean to. You know, I, th I think she's just trying to do the right thing, but she's only human, so of course, we will make mistakes. But I love her. She's a she's a great character. My name's Isabella Inchbald. I'm a voice stage and screen actress. I play Indica in the new game Indica. The sign of the cross. <laughs> Indica is a nun in the early 1900s who leaves her monastery and goes on a physical and mental journey with an escaped prisoner by her side and the devil in her head. No! <laughs> you don't even have anything to say! The abbess knows you inside out, so everything turned out just as written! <laughs> As I said earlier, I think she's very relatable in the sense that she is just trying to do the right thing all the time. But she's only human, so she sort of makes these mistakes. It just goes to show how, how relatable she really is, because it's, it's completely normal to doubt one's faith. It's completely normal to doubt it, to go through periods of doubt for it. And that's a really nice trait in her character, and one that means something, probably, to a lot of people. That bit where she has a conversation and she's kind of, you know, falling, she's kind of falling through time with the, with the devil. I guess I can't do anything worse than that. It's so easy to step over everything you believe in. Step where? Somewhere. Onto your side. What kind of side is that? Are you going to argue again? That there are no sides? That there's neither good nor evil? You can try. Convince me that I haven't done anything bad. Or can you not even do that now? Bad? What does that word mean? We worked on that. That was one of the bits we worked on the most. And I think that came, that has, I'm proud of the way that that's sort of come out. I, I think, I think the directors directed me very well in that bit. And I think it really works considering what's going on at the time in the story, I mean. What else did you say? Unfair? Is it fair that one tree has a thousand leaves and another two thousand? Is it fair when two people throw the dice, one gets a six and the other gets a two? Of course, all this is rational, but we don't like this rationality. We angrily call it unfair. video games you're, you're actually not given that much information in advance you know you're not sent the whole script so you really you can prepare as much as you can with, with with the information you have but you know there doesn't tend to be a lot of backstory given to you you know you don't have a sort of book of backstory of what's going on you sort of get given that information in the room when you're recording and yeah, we just sort of a lot. As I say, a lot of it, a lot of it was making sure that the sort of Russian sensibility was sort of coming across, and that you know you weren't overdoing it, things like that. But the recording was fairly quick. I think we, I can't remember exactly, but I think over a period of a couple of months, we probably did something like fifteen hours recording for my part. Tell me something. If you're God's chosen one, why didn't God heal you completely right away? That's a good question. I like how they're not afraid to challenge each other. But now you're like an angel of God. Even now you're black all over. I, 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 I mean, your clothes, your clothes are black. Not, not anything else. Fallen? How? 
they're sort of equals in that sense, which is kind of, I feel like, especially the time that it's set, it's sort of unlikely. I like the way that, they, that they're not afraid to sort of have these conversations and neither one is scared to, to rub the other up the wrong way. Yeah, well, uh... <clears throat> And I love, I love the way Ilya isn't a threatening man. He's sort of just really non-threatening. I think that's a really nice thing for, well, for any for any woman to have, but for Indica to have as well in in, in her in her situation. What's what's unique about Indica is that she she's in this sort of faraway world that none of us, you know, none of us lived back then. We don't know what it was like. You know, we don't really know what it's like to be a nun either. Yet she's incredibly relatable just as a human being. I think it's quite interesting seeing all these questions asked through the eyes of someone who's supposed to be very religious, but actually it's they're questions that we are well, I've asked myself before as well. I don't. I haven't had conversations with the devil in my head, but I've certainly had thoughts in my head that are sort of similar. We all have those. And so I, I think I think she's probably quite unique in that sense. Then again, I suppose the best games are our characters that we can relate to, aren't they? That do have many characters that you can relate to. Um, but maybe coming through the eyes of the seemingly quite extreme mindset in the first place, it's quite unique, I think. Bringing the voice to all these emotions of a different person is, well, it's, it's a great honour. I love doing it. <laughs>